Hello and welcome back to Bookers Gaming and uh, I made some stairs. <laughs> I did some mining. Oh god, I hate these stairs. Yeah, I went mining twice. Didn't find too much, but I'm kind of surprised by the sheer amount of diamonds I'm finding. I know I can't really complain, I guess, but it's weird. Like, I almost have no redstone, but uh, diamonds I have stacks of. Well, maybe one stack. Okay, so... Oh, God. I hate stairs. But it means that we don't ever have to jump again. So it's uh, it's worth it, I think. I mean, we're probably going to come down here at least another 10, 20 times. So... We might as well. Oh, really? Did I... <laughs> I ran out of stairs. Okay, fine. Do it some other time. Alright, so... It's a night, so let's have a sleep. This server does not have hardcore questing mode enabled. Okay. That's fine. Gold. Do gold and silver not create combined together? Well, we'll just do it that way so that all the iron ore will go first. Actually, we'll do the lead as well. Ferris, I don't know. Silver. Oh, more iron ore. Wow. I guess I did uh, do some decent mining. Alright, you go in there, you go in there, and you. And Dark Iron Ore, I'm not sure what to do with yet. Uh, that used to be uh, very different. So it makes ingots. What do we do with ingots? We make the logic programmers, the lamps. Hmm. Hmm, okay. We'll have to uh, think about that later. Ferris goes in there because we have to ideally pulverize it. All our finished sort of fancy stuff we put in there. And I don't know what this does, so... Hmm. Now I do have some iron ore again from my first mining trip. So... Oh, so much junk. Um... Yeah, I wish I could organize this a little bit better. It quite annoys me. Okay, well, we'll just dump it in here for now. We'll have to uh, think about a better solution. Alright, uh, also I'm going to put my sword in there because I, I'm been using my hammer as a sword. <laughs> just easier. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of redstone and I think we're going to use some of that on our hammer. Um, because it will make a decent difference uh, for that though. First, let's make some blocks. Uh, yeah, we'll go... S no, let's make two stacks. Zombie walking outside my door. Alright, so... We get our hammer and some... Oops. Some redstone. And there, uh, boom. 30, 40, 50. So now we used exactly one modifier for redstone. And the mining speed now is 6. Now I'm going to do one more because I do like a fast hammer. Uh, was it? One more. Okay, so now... Oh, hang on, one more. It's at 8.8 .8 mining speed. So just imagine we went from uh, something like 4 or 3 to 8. So that's a significant difference. It uh, really does make a big difference. That's nice, okay. Also, we should use some on the other tools we have, but maybe that's not so important. Uh, what I do want to do is upgrade this pick with some... La oh, no, we don't really have any lapis. Never mind. Uh, let's just repair our tool, shall we? I know it's a little bit wasteful to do it uh, this early, but I don't mind. Oh, that didn't even do it. Okay. Okay then. So, put the redstone back in there. Steel back in there. I was also making some nice yummy potatoes. And we need some more torches. Oh, it never ends. And someone told me I could make cobblestone torches. So, how do I do that? Just like that? Nope. How do I make cobblestone torches? 
that shapeless? No, it's shape. No. Hmm. With a stone tool rod. Oh, it has to be cooked. Yeah, it has to be cooked, I think. Well, guess what? That's wasted. Stone stick. Or... Well, I guess now it's too late, but... Uh, not there. Go away. Does this work? Stone tool rod. Whoa. Oh, that's, that's annoying. Yeah, I guess that works. So we'll just chuck these for now. It's just, uh, it's fine. Yeah, I mean, that's actually, uh, crap. <laughs> no. Alright, we're gonna chuck that as well. I might need it at some point, but whatever. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. So we have torches. They look, uh, the same, really. A bit different color. And we are getting all this stuff smelted. It's going very slow, mainly because this thing can't keep up. And I did want to make another one, really. Um, but not now. But not now. Okay, so the next thing we want to look at is uh, pick up this thing. And I think we should make a new room somewhere. Because it's, uh, it's a bit too cramped in there. And we're going to need to do some machinery. So... The question is, should we just um, stay in the village or should we go somewhere else? Because the thing is, now we don't have that many chests yet, so we can easily take our stuff with us. But as soon as we sort of get invested, then I would prefer not to move. Hmm. Give me all that experience. I'm not going to use it, but give me all that experience. Um, hmm, that is a difficult question. I think we might want to just stay around this area because I do like it. Like we have, if we look on the map, hang on, uh, kind of a big forest here. We have a desert and there's another grassland here. There's this weird thing here and there's the dead biome here. It's kind of interesting. There's um, some cool stuff everywhere, really. And then I'd like to go down here sometime, explore. So, um, I think we'll stay here. So, the next decision then is, do we want to build above ground or below ground? And I do like, above, well, I do like below ground because it's fairly straightforward and easy. But uh, there is something about having it above ground. Well, oh, hang on, I just got an idea. Why don't we make it? under the water. I know it's not deep, but we could, if we so desired, make this all the same level. Not all of it, but like kind of, you know, and make like a base that is just a little bit underwater, not, not fully, just a little bit underwater. So for example, hang on, let me just go back to my base. Well, hut. I really can't, shouldn't call it a base. I would have to smell different glass for sure. Maybe some clear glass would be nice. But we could just um, put our roof like here. That'd be kind of cool. And then we'd have an entrance here. You know, for example. I'm not sure how this is going to work out, but... Uh, for example. I think this will be safe from the water already. And uh, we could just... Um, no, that was not safe from the water. Yeah, put a roof like that. That is kind of cool. 
I haven't built underwater yet before, so that's kind of new for me. That's nice. I always like to try new stuff. And, uh... Huh, it's kind of weird, isn't it? Now, I would like to have the clear glass, though. It looks a lot better. Okay, let's do it. Let's do that, shall we? I like it. So first what we need to do is, um, we'll probably need some more lava, but I guess I can get that off camera at some point. First, we need to get more sand and start smelting it in here. And I guess we can just, oh no, because sand has to be taken out of, um, hmm. The clear glass has to be taken out of one of those. So. I would really like to do it at a higher, at a much, much higher thing. Do we have any seed bricks? No, we don't. No, we don't. Bummer. This is not enough. <laughs> Six. Ah. Uh, see, because we need to smelt large, large quantities to make a proper massive sort of thing. Alternatively, we could wait till this is done. Um, there's really not that much left. And wait till this is all done. And then just replace this thing with one of those and then start doing... Yeah, we'll do that instead. Let's sleep. And, uh... and then we need to go hunt for some more grout. And then once we get some more grout, we can uh, expand our smell tree. And that'll be nice. Okay, so first of all... What do we have still? We have kind of a decent amount of clay. We have some gravel. We have no sand. Some potatoes. Might as well do that. And yeah. All right. So let's go out and we need to go find some sand. I know there's some here, but I'd rather not take this. And uh, might as well get some clay as well. Now we did find a river somewhere that had a lot of, lot of stuff in it. Um. Hmm, was it this one? No, it was one of these. So because we haven't been there yet, let's just go through the bamboo forest. We have a, we've never walked through it, I think. I don't know if it's any, if it's interesting at all, but uh, <laughs> well, that's just too easy to uh, ignore. It's a bit slow to mine here, but. Uh, I'll do. I kind of hate mining in the water. <laughs> I know it's technically faster than just running around like an idiot, but I don't know, it just annoys me to no end. This, on the other hand, is very nice. Pot soul? What is that? Now, we don't need too much. Maybe two stacks of each? Would that be enough? Yeah, I think two stacks of each will be plenty. Okay, I kind of, I'm, I'm not enjoying this uh, bamboo. <laughs> it's annoying. Also, I'm getting a bit tired of these potatoes. I really need uh, a farm, an animal farm. So, for that we need a wheat farm as well. At least it'll be nice to have one. Um, and then we can get some proper beef burgers set up. And that will be yummy. Let's uh, ignore everyone's advice and just dig straight down. It's fine. I'm ruining the landscape a little bit, but I think it's okay because we're probably not going to be here forever. We are at some point going to move. So I don't mind. Okay, we've got two stacks. I don't mind messing up the landscape just a tiny bit. Even a little bit more than a tiny bit. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, well, this is nice because gravel is, you know, you always find it when you don't want it. But whenever you want it, it's a pain to find. So, very happy with that. And we're going to die. Well, not die, but take some hits. Okay. So, I would like to get three stacks of each, actually. Just, just in case. So, clay, we're done. 
Gravel we need a lot more of. So we're definitely gonna mine this. Just for the convenience. It annoys me, but Okay. Next. Yeah, well, I guess we'll take these. It's, it's nice and easy. Eh. And we'll also take that right there. And I like uh, always building a base. You know, that's uh, that's a it's like a always one of the first goals. You know, it makes you feel like you're actually getting somewhere now. Once you set up your first room and your first building and your first uh, machinery, that's when things start to uh, really become fun, I think. I just want to see what is in this base here. It looks interesting. Hi. See how much damage the, this hammer does? 12 damage a hit, and it hits as fast as a sword. Okay. Oh, flower. <laughs> eh. Oh, eggs. Actually, I'll take the eggs just in case, because I might be able to get a chicken from it. And we'll leave some cobblestone behind. Oh, wheat. Not really important, I guess, but I hate this. I don't know if there's anything special under this temple, but I don't. I don't want to be here. Is that sand? Yep, just plain old sand, okay. Well, we need plain old sand. Well, actually, we don't, so never mind. Okay, well, that will be our last stack of gravel, so we should be able to finish it off here. Almost. Almost, come on. Okay, done. Wow, piss off you cactus. Let's go home a bit sick of uh, cactuses. Cacti, I guess, sorry. Cacti, cactuses, it's all the same. And look at that, I need to eat again. It's crazy. I'm eating like every two minutes. Hmm. So I think with three stacks, if we just smelt it all up, we'll be able to make a fairly massive um, smelting thing. And that'll be nice. That'll be helpful in general. Oh yeah, it's a weed water I can. Strange. Now actually, the thing is, it would be very beneficial to have a little bit more sand than tree stacks because that will allow us to um, make some more glass and we, we're going to make that roof out of glass so we're going to need tons and tons of the stuff. So whilst we're here, we might as well eh, get all the easily accessible sand. And I guess we can just go to the desert afterwards. To get a few stacks. You see how, how long this, these tools are lasting? I didn't repair this one, it was already half broken. Not half broken, but like a little bit dented. And uh, it still is almost a full durability. It's, it's really nice. It's one of the reasons I like steel so much. Especially once we put some... Um, some more modifiers on it. It'll be, it'll be perfect. It'll be really nice. So yes, I could upgrade to Cobalt, and I probably should soonish to get um, Iodite and stuff, but we're not really ready to go into the Nether, so it's fine. Okay, so... Where's the entrance of my base? Here it is. Okay. So, first things first. Did I get rid of all my Cobalt? No, I have some. I would like to make another furnace. Just because. And... 
course, sorry, I'm used to uh, Factorio still. So we need to combine some grout. And for that we need some more inventory space. Oh, God, this is annoying. <laughs> Go away. I'm going to have to remember that I put it there. Okay. So. Sand. Gravel. Clay. Makes two sacks of grout. Very nice. Put one stick there. And then we just sort of... Do that. You know, it's not perfect, but it's fine. And uh, that, that will go. That will be enough for us to make this thing a lot higher. Now I also want some more... No, I have I have a decent amount of glass actually, that's nice. Do I have more glass? Not much. Because with the glass we can make... Hang on, I need this. We can make the windows and technically I do like the windows better, that is nicer. But you do need more bricks than for a normal brick, that is kind of dumb. Like, how is a normal brick four? And the window is six. How is that possible? Like, that's rubbish. Let's just compare. A, a window has this much seed bricks in it. Just, this little, just these little bits. <laughs> Whilst a seed brick has four of them. And it's, like, all of it is full. It doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you, it just doesn't make any sense. All right, so I will end the episode here. I'll wait till all this melts and I'll, I'll make all the uh, all the bricks needed and stuff, so we don't have to uh, we don't have to wait. And then uh, we'll start smelting and we'll start uh, building our new base. And I think that'll be really cool. Oh, get lost. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.